Torch here. All right, you fellow motorheads, I'm going to show you how to use a ridge, ridge reamer. See that little ridge right there? It's from where the piston was coming up and stopping, and then the top, the very top of the cylinder here doesn't get worn, so it leaves a little ridge. Now, normally you kind of do this before you take the pistons out, but I'm getting new ones, so didn't really matter. I just kind of rammed them out, which they actually came out pretty easy because rings are pretty worn out. But anyway, I already did did these. You can see how nice they look. But I'll show you how to do this one. I just caught myself and said, oh, I should make a video of this. So here you go, guys. Now, this is what it's called cylinder ridge reamer and best thing you can do is go to your local auto zone and you can rent these what you actually do though is you pay for it and you use it and then when you're done with it you bring it back and they give you your money back so basically if you don't bring it back then they keep your money so or you damage it but anyway, so basically you can use them for free, but you got to pay for them. So anyway, here's what it looks like. And to adjust these, you just turn on this small screw. And then that'll adjust how far these come out, what you want to do is get that down in your cylinder, screw it in, oh, I have to find a wrench, there we go, and get it down in there, this will center, center your cylinder, so you don't do this and make it all crooked. But you just get it get it kind of close so you can still slide it around and then what you want to do is drop that down to just a little bit a little bit below the surface so you can see where that bridge is going to hit and you tighten this up just a little bit you don't want to tighten it up too much just so it holds it in the place of the cylinder and then these two here adjust the height to the cylinder but I already got it set so I'm not going to loosen that um, anyway it looks like it slipped down on me I didn't tighten it up enough okay there we go you just don't want to over tighten these I was trying to be careful because you can damage your cylinder wall. Alright, so we get that a little bit tighter. Alright, and then you want to make sure this thing here is in the number one position. And once you get it in place, just crank it over to the number two position. Little this one's being a little stubborn. There we go. All right, then you can feel it stopped, so it's hitting. And then you want to go down to this lower bolt. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Wow, what size is it? Holy cow! Thought it was a three-quarter, but I guess it ain't. All right, let me find my other wrench here. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get the big adjustable. But anyway, so now you want to go on that lower nut, not this top one. And then you just spin this around. You can kind of hear that cutting that ridge.
just screw it until it's pretty much almost all the way out. And you can go back the other way, clean it up a little more. Probably only really have to do it once, but I don't know. I'm just going back with it a little bit. So I get a little bit of a deep, deep spot right here, which eh, it's coming out. It's still there, so I guess I'll hit it again a little bit. You're not going to get it all. I mean, well, you might, but if you don't get it all, it's no big deal. You just want to get enough so you don't have that ridge. Let me see where that's at. Now, you don't want to go too deep because then you're going to end up boring out your cylinder. <laughs> you really only want to do this on the very, very top. So that's probably far enough. So, click this back to the number one spot. And that releases the blade. And you just loosen this up. And that releases the feet. And you pull it out. And then you get a relatively clean rag. Just kind of wipe it out. And you take a look. See? You can still kind of see my ridge in there a little bit. But I can't really feel anything. So that's okay. I'll get the rest out with a hone. Because that's what I did on, on these other ones. I just got done honing all of these. So show you how to do that real quick. Where is... Ah. Make sure you got plenty of WD-40. And you just spray it on these stones. You want to do this ever so often just to kind of clean off all the shavings from where you were just working on the last ones. Then get some of this in the cylinder. Grab onto these, pinch them together, slide them in. And then what you want to do is just take your drill. <laughs> Alright, you don't want to do it too long. Because you don't want to take off too much. And go ahead and clean up your stones again. Spray some more in there. And where did my somewhat clean rig go? Here it is. You want to wipe out all them shavings. Ugh. Flip that over. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Still got a little bit of ridge though, so some more WD-40 in there. Oh, come on now, that one ain't gonna work. Get some more WD-40 in there. A little more on the stones. Oh, by the way, when you're doing this, don't ever 
pull this thing out without grabbing it right here and holding on to this because if you do that this thing goes boom like that and you can actually break these stones and that would suck especially if you rented it from uh, AutoZone and you break the stone then they're gonna make you pay for it so don't break the stones Concentrate on the top a little bit to try to get rid of that bridge a little bit. Like I said, you don't want to do it too long. Get in more, a little more WD-40. And that ridge is gone. See that? Sorry, I'm holding on to the tripod here. But you get the idea. That ridge is gone. Now, what you want to do is get you a clean, 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 clean rig. sure you get all of that crap out of there. Flip this over. Some more WD-40 in there. You want to get all those little shavings out. Believe me, you wouldn't believe how much those shavings come out. I mean, they're actually quite a bit. Want to wipe that thing down as clean as you can get it. Okay, and now what I was doing when I was honing that out, all of these little ridges in here now, they're very minute, but they're all kind of going straight. What you want to do is cross hatch this so when the new piston rings wear in. They wear in the right they wear in right because those little ring those little ridges will even though they're minute they could cause your rings to fail a lot faster so go ahead and clean up your stones again spray some more WD-40 in there and then what you want to do is go the whole length of the cylinder which isn't much, I mean it's like that. See, I'm holding these in so I'm not really scratching that, but you want to go like this, kind of quick, so you get a cross cut. And that's pretty much might have to do it more depending on how it looks but once you look down in there I don't know it's not really going to show up on camera but the swirls are actually going you know instead of perfectly round they're going kind of like that that's how you want them to look when you're all done And that's pretty much how they look. I might have to do it a little bit more, but I ain't gonna waste your time watching me do it on camera. So, but I mean, that's that's the way you want them to end up is looking a little cross hatched, not straight. And like I said, don't you know? You really don't want to hone too much if you don't have to. You just basically want to clean it up because I mean, there is a chance. You could make these holes a little bit too big for your piston, so be careful. Alright, I hope this helps. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. 
and please like and subscribe it really helps me out I'd really appreciate it um, and you have a good one take care torch out <laughs>